Let's look at how to graph a periodic function. In particular, this will be a transform sine wave. I recommend watching the video on identifying the properties of this sine wave first. It's the same equation in the other video. If you've done that, then this should be not too bad. We start by drawing the original sine table. We pick some x's and pick some y's that we know are easy for the equation of sine. So we're just graphing the base function, sine x. So we're going to pick some x's that are easy to do for sine, which are, for me, 90, 180, 270, and 360. And I can put those in my calculator, or I can remember, I know sine starts at 0, goes up to 1, comes back down to 0, goes down to negative 1, and comes back to 0. That's an original sine equation. Now what we're going to do now is write a rule that takes all these points and transforms them according to what you see in the equation here. The mapping rule looks like this. Take all my x's and y's, all my x's, all my y's as points, and do something to them, all the x's, all the y's. Let's look at what happens to x. If you've seen the last video, you know this 3, because it's on x, means do the opposite of times 3, which is divide by 3. So take all the x's and divide them by 3, which is the same as times a third. And then instead of take away 45, do the opposite, add 45. That's what happens to the x's according to this equation. What happens to the y's? The y's are all times 2, 2y, and are all added 1. So now it's really easy to come up with a new table. You don't have to sit and punch in your calculator all day trying to sub x's into here to see what this will look like. Instead, you just take all your x's, divide them by 3, and add 45. Let's do that now. 0 divided by 3, 0, add 45. 90 divided by 3, well, that's just 30, add 45. 180 divided by 3, 60, add 45. You can already see the pattern, right? You probably can stop calculating if you want, but I'll keep going. 270 divided by 3 is 90, 90 plus 45. Can you predict what the next one's going to be? Well, it's 360 divided by 3, that's 120, 120 plus 45. I'm doing that in my head, or you could use a calculator, or recognize the pattern. It's just going up by 30. And the y's are even easier. 2 times whatever y is plus 1. 2 times 0, 0, plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times 0, we already figured it out up here. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 1 is negative 1. And again, 0, sub and 0 here, 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1. So now we have, I think I'll draw my graph down here. Now we have everything we need to draw that sine wave, set up our axes. This is my x, here's my y. I'm going to need my ruler to make some nice ticks. So I'll put here some ticks. And maybe one there. Maybe a little cramped and small, but hopefully it'll do the job and you'll be able to see it. I'm going to extend this. I think it's going to be too small. Let's make this even bigger. There's my y-axis, a little larger. As I know, I need to go up to a height of 3. Put that up there. And down here, there's a height of negative 3, even though I won't get there. Don't forget to label your graph. All right, and I know I need to go up to at least 165, but I got to go up by a nice even amount. So I see 45 here. Maybe I'll start with that because if this is 45, this is 90, this is 135, and this is 180. I just did 45 plus 45 plus 45 to get that, which makes this negative 45. And now I graph those points at 45 degrees. I'm at a height of one. At 75 degrees somewhere in between here, close to the 90, I'm at 3. At 105 degrees, that's somewhere in between here, close to the 90, I'm back at 1. At 135 degrees, I'm at negative 1. And at 165 degrees, again, somewhere in between here, but closer to the 135, I'm back at 1. And so I get, still, a perfect sine wave, make little U-shapes here to help me draw my sine wave, that's where it peaks. 
It's going to come down like that. It's going to come down on this side, go through the min, come up, and keep curving around forever. And that's how to draw the transformation of a sine wave.